more than three million ballots have been cast in Wisconsin going from last year when the when the election happened. Um, but officials have flagged 27 votes as being fraudulent. Of the more than three million ballots that were cast in the 2020 election back in Wisconsin, only 27 were considered fraudulent, according to documents obtained by the Associated Press. Sixteen of the ballots in question had a UPS store as the mail-in address rather than an actual residence as required. The clerk sent the voters a letter giving them 30 days to register at a residential address for future elections. Aside from those cases, four people voted both in person and by mail. One person was a convicted felon. Um, one absentee ballot was returned by the voter's son. In addition, three people voted in two different places. One person returned two absentee ballots, and one person wasn't allowed to vote because they had been abjucated as an incompetent. Um, since ballots are secret, it's unclear who the people voted for. I'm going to assume it's all these fraudulent votes were for Republican. It's unclear if they were Democrat or Republican, but I'm going to assume Republican, since voters in the state do not register by a political party. Um, the Associated Press's investigation comes as Wisconsin's, as Wisconsin's um, GOP-led um, led legislator pushes measures to make absentee voting more difficult and in line with the national push from Republicans to basically overhaul voting rules amid the former squatter Trump's claims about voter fraud in the 2020 election. Georgia in March had passed an election overhaul that has become the subject of several lawsuits Texas and Florida have since followed suit. Um, Wisconsin Republicans have already ordered an audit of the election, um, as the Associated Press has noted, and the Assembly Election Committees is launching its own probe. President Biden had won the Badger State by more than 20,000 votes, but Trump and his sycophants lost multiple state and federal lawsuits seeking to change the election's outcome and toss out ballots. Lawyers from Wisconsin, um, for Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers, who's a Democrat, are currently seeking to recover more than $250,000 in legal fees incurred from these legal challenges. Evers is seeking $145,174 from a lawsuit filed by the Trump campaign, alleging that the state likely tainted more than 50,000 50, ballots. He is, seeking a, he is seeking a separate $106,780 from a lawsuit filed by Sidney Powell, alleging that the officials tampered with the ballots. Well, yep. Yeah.